If you've been following this channel for a while, you know I'm a big believer in eating lectin-free. Now, every now and then I briefly mention what lectins are and that they're bad for you. But in case you haven't been following along from the beginning, I wanted to take a minute to really explain a few things. First, I'm going to tell you what a lectin is. Second, I'll explain how they work. Third, I'm going to tell you where to find them. And last, I'm going to tell you why to avoid them at all costs. That way, if you ever feel lost on your health journey, you've got something to come back to, something quick and easy to follow. So, what's a lectin exactly? Short answer, it's a dangerous plant protein designed to poison you. Yes, you read that right, poison. Now, chances are lectins won't kill you, though eating a lectin-heavy diet your whole life might. But they'll make you pretty sick. You see, plants don't want to be eaten, but it's not like they can run and hide or even bite back. So instead, they make lectins to make predators sick in hopes that the next time they'll pass by that plant and eat something else. It's actually pretty smart, right? So that's lectins for you in a nutshell. But how do they make you sick? Well, it helps to think of lectins are like little barnacles that look for specific sugar molecules in your blood, the lining of our gut, and on our nerves. When they find a good spot to land, they cling to these cells, breaking down their ability to communicate with our immune system and then ripping them to pieces, which could lead to things like leaky gut, a weaker immune system, weight gain, food poisoning, and so much more. After all, there's nothing worse than an intruder in your system. And lectins are just that, an unwanted intruder making you sick. So clearly, they should be avoided at all costs. But what exactly does that mean? Well, there are certain lectins in most fruits and veggies, but some are worse than others. And there are five categories of food you want to avoid at all costs. First, beans and legumes, including peanuts, lentils, and cashews. They carry more lectins than any other food, which is why eating undercooked beans makes so many people sick each year. So skip them entirely, or if you must eat foods like lentils, which do have health-boosting boost compounds, make sure to pressure cook them, because pressure cooking kills the majority of lectins outright. Second, squash. Most squash are New World foods, which means our bodies did not evolve to eat them. Plus, they're heavy in lectins, so skip pumpkin, butternut squash, even zucchini whenever possible. And if you must eat squash, although I don't recommend it, peel it and take out the seeds first, because that's where the lectins are. Third, grains. For the most part, grains are a relatively new food to us. Our hunter-gatherer ancestors didn't search for grains. Without processing, there was no way to eat them. Plus, most grains, even gluten-free grains, are lectin bombs, as well as those gluten-free grain substitutes. Fourth, the nightshades, tomatoes, potatoes, even eggplants. These lectin bombs are another leading cause of food poisoning, and they're closely related to some of the most poisonous plants on the planet. And last but not least, number five, fruit, especially out-of-season fruit. And remember, if it's got a seed, it's a fruit. So skip that pineapple, papaya, and strawberries in the winter, but also peppers and cucumbers. Remember, they're fruits too. So now you know what they are, what they do, and where to find lectins. But why should you avoid them at all costs? This one's simple. Lectins are designed to cause disease and weight gain in humans. And you deserve to live a long, healthy life. After all, I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit my website linked in the description box below for more of my best tips. If you haven't already, click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you never miss another video. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you.